the Hell Blaster Volley Gun and the Hellstorm Rocket Battery coming up next. Hello once again and welcome back to another amazing Monster Hobbies unboxing video and today we are looking at the Hell Blaster Volley Gun and Hellstorm Rocket Battery. This is the earlier Empire Volley Gun and Rocket Battery model kit that I have. It's the same kit as what you'd get in the new set, except that the new set has a boring white box with no picture on it. That's why I have this one here. This is a great gun for adding into your Greywater Fastness Army, which is right here. <laughs> it's part of the Iron Weld Arsenal. So without further ado, let's go down to our bench and open this thing up and see what's in the box. Here we have another nice model from Games Workshop. And I'm lucky enough to have the original box this came in. This of course being the Empire Volley Gun or Rocket Battery, which is now known as the Hell Blaster Volley Gun or the Hellstorm Rocket Battery. Anyway, it's the same kit. Only this one, of course, would have square bases to it. So what's cool about this box is they show the volley gun on the front. And if we turn this around, they also show the rocket battery. And of course, there's a volley gun there with, you get three crew members in here, which of course you can build in various ways. And then of course, we've got our different paints. And these are the old ones on the box chainmail which is now lead belcher you know blood red bestial brown brazen brass and skull white these have all been renamed not quite sure what the new names are for some of these but chainmail of course is iron breaker because that's the old steel color anyway let's open up this neat little box nowadays if you order this online i imagine this will be a white box that will say citadel Age of Sigmar, 40k on it, and just have Hell Blaster as a sticker stuck on here, but that's what I mean. That's what's missing with the GW now. They don't want to print up any artwork for these boxes, old or new. Okay, so opening this up, of course we get four square bases. You can tell the vintage of this kit. Nowadays I do believe you would get round bases with this. And then there's three parts sprues being small, cut down to fit the box. So there's the first one. We'll look at these in a minute. The second one, which has the rockets on it. And then the third one, which is sort of the universal, as well as it has the volley gun sitting there. Nice detail work on this, which we'll see in a little bit. And now we have our instructions here, which of course is the key part of this model. So as you can see, you get a nice little photograph of the volley gun with the guys sitting by it and as we open it up we see the first thing we get to build are the crew members so you choose either your volley gun crew or your rocket battery crew and they have two figures and then we get a champion sitting here as well one looking through the telescope and then another one that has a sword and Maybe something in his hand here. I don't know if that's another telescope or a bottle telescope pointing down. There's a nice little a, a diorama feature here. You get the nice artillery box with stuff inside and the rocket board with the spare rockets, which they do have one missing here. And of course the one guy is holding it. So you put the two together and make a little diorama for your weaponry. And that stuff is included in the um, the newer version of this kit which of course is just the same kit in a white box with no art <laughs> okay and then there's our carriage and it has the nice little gears in between here sort of to adjust the platform so of course you can raise and lower it for your volley guns well not in actuality but that's the image this gives off of course there it is going together and then the back of the instructions you see you get either your volley gun chamber here with the the nine guns. Of course this would fire three and then rotate over, fire the next three, rotate over, fire the final three and then they'd reload it. There's our little hammers sitting here which of course are phoenixes. 
or not phoenixes, uh, griffins, pardon me, holding hammers. And get the nice little piece that goes on the front there. And then this is what the volley gun would look like all together. And then with our rockets, there's three of them, or nine of them again, sitting on this platform. Get to paint each individual rocket. And then there's the hot tongs and the uh, brazier here burning away. So of course they light the ends of the fuses for the rockets. You get a different platform or plaque on the front here. This one has a skull on it. This one's more of a shield. And then there's our volley gun going together in the end. Now here's our carriage and volley gun sprue. And as you can see, it's really nice looking. There's a lot of great detail going on in here. We have our artillery wheels with the spokes. There's our little griffins holding the hammers. A bunch of lovers. There, here is another of those detail pieces. These are swords sitting in a wooden sort of holder. There's the different uh, front details. One is the Sigmarite Comet and the other is the skull head. And then there's our carriage there in the bottom. The gears which would pop in the middle back here. I'm gonna turn this over in a minute, you'll see. The burning hot brazier with the tongs. This is the sort of the rotating pieces and the hammer ends for the volley gun bits. And there's a three prong lever, there's two of them. Now turning this over, you can see, oh, look who's here, a little skull and a chest there. So the Empire is really big on sticking skeletons in between <laughs> parts. I guess sort of the, they believe the soul of the skeleton will help guide the rockets or bullets or something like that. Something cool anyway. Look at all the nice ornate detail on the wheels. Very cool stuff. GW really does make good models. Okay, let's take a look at the other two parts trees. And here we have the sprue for our rocket battery, as well as that nice little chest. There's a shovel there too, more diorama bits, and the supports for our backboard. This is the upper half of our carriage, and then there's the the deck for the different uh, rockets. Again, the phoenixes, very prominent, the skulls. So there's sort of a one, two, and three on this. So these two go on the outer with the skulls, and the comet is in the middle. But again, you can see the nice detail. Like, they really made this look like wood. You can see the Iron Cross of Franz, Karl Franz sitting there, or the Iron Cross of the Empire. There's skulls in between the barrel heads. Lots of nice stuff to paint up. That, of course, is for your volley gun. There's a, a nice little metal plate with the rivets sitting in it. Of course, turning this over, you can see that the eagles are on both sides. There's a bunch of little skulls and all kinds of stuff on the actual rockets. And look inside this, this has got a bunch of different rifles and pistols and all kinds of cool things you can paint in there. The shovel, of course. And again, beautiful work. This was designed for a diorama for a museum piece, and you just happen to have it on your battlefield to play with. That's what's cool about this. And our final parts tree, of course, you can't have any of these weaponry without a nice noble crew ready to guide you through using your artillery pieces. So what do we have in here? Well, there's three crew members. So we have this guy here with the pantaloons. <laughs> I don't know. The different heads, which are nice. There's the ramming stick for cleaning out the barrels of your volley gun. There's a bucket in here, which you can put gunpowder in or whatever. Here is the arms for the guy holding the rocket. These are different trays for your ammunition for the volley gun. There's a little telescopey thing. Now this guy of course has his ears covered from all the noise. And then there's a spare arm, another head. This one goes onto this body. You can also use any one of these other things. You could use this guy for the ramrod because he's stepping forward to actually insert it into the cannon barrels. Or the volley gun barrels, pardon me. There's one of these with the open top. Now Took me a little while to figure out how this works, but this is actually a scoop. If you have your gunpowder in your barrel, you would scoop that into the ends of the volley gun, into the barrels, and then pack in your your stuff. Because it didn't have a proper charge, they would just use loose gunpowder and pack it. 
So anyway, there's a loose rocket. You could actually glue this in here if you didn't want to use the guy holding the rocket arms. See, this is all cool stuff, you know, just perfect for a diorama. There's the head engineer with his telescope off the side. And then of course he's looking through this other range finding telescope. Then we got the sort of pleated arms going on here and the different hats with the feathers in. So to show you the uh, who's in charge of the cannon or the rockets, whatever. And there's a nice book sitting there too. So looking at this on the back end, there's that iron cross again and the nice wood detail on the back of that board. The bucket even has planks in it, just like the real thing, only smaller. <laughs> and then of course there's the wood, the guy's back of the head and everything. This is all nice. There's a the twin tail comet on the book as well as the iron cross. Just very nice detail. Like even if you're like that's the thing with Games Workshop models, there is so much great detail on these things. It's like, how do you really decide what you want to build out of this? And you really should buy every single model GW makes just so that you have this nice detail so you can build cool things, even if you never use it in a game. <laughs> like, anyway, that's that's the philosophy. I don't know if I'm going to buy everything. I don't have enough time, money, and resources. At any rate, how are you going to build yours? Let me know in the comments below. And that completes our look at our Empire Volley Gun and Rocket Battery which is now in modern times, in Age of Sigmar times, known as the Hellblaster Volley Gun and Hellstorm Rocket Battery. So how many of these do you think you will field in your army as artillery pieces? How many of the Volley Gun and how many of the Rocket Battery will you use? Of course this is now part of the Iron Weld Arsenal and it is featured in a Greywater Fastness Army. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little review of this great model kit. And you, don't forget that you can add this to your Greywater Fastness Army. Don't forget to check out all our other great model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca or visit us in person at Unit 42B, 11th Avenue Southeast in High River, Alberta, Canada. And until next time, I wish you great success in your Warhammer battles.